In Sunqian City along the waterway of Sunqian Bay Wetland Romantic Cruise Ship is passing leisurely. In fact, Sunqian Bay Wetland ISS too wide. Because taking a walk in this area is very difficult, using a cruise ship might be effective for sightseeing. Especially in wetlands there are many areas where you cannot walk. If you use a cruise ship, you can experience various wetlands. Sunqian Bay Wetland is not artificially created park. So in this area, there are hardly any facilities made with modern architectural technology. This is a natural ecological park. Although migratory birds visit here in the cold winter. Now even without migratory birds. This area has important value in the sense that the natural environment is preserved well in this area. Many tourists from anywhere in Korea are visiting Sunqian Bay wetlands in order to enjoy the natural environment. Why was Sunqian Bay able to become a world-class wintering spot for cranes? It can be said that this is a result of the steady efforts of local residents, civic groups, and Sunqian City to create a stable habitat environment and economy, and the systematic management of coastal wetlands. However, before the number of cranes visiting Sunqian Bay increased rapidly, there was also a crisis. The number of tourists, which was 100,000 in 2002, gradually increased and reached 3 million per year. Leading to a situation where we had to worry about the future of Sunqian Bay, including automobile exhaust, noise, and environmental destruction. In less than three years, the number of visitors increased by more than 3 million, and Sunqian Bay wetland became widely known. However, this had the opposite effect. As concerns were raised about damage to Sunqian Bay due to the increasing number of vehicles and visitors, and voices of dissatisfaction were raised from nearby residents. Accordingly, we conducted research on efficient management of Sunqian Bay with wetland and ecotourism experts for a year starting in 2007, and implemented the proposed wetland restoration and ecotourism program. The entrance to Sunqian Bay was moved toward the city center and vehicles entering Sunqian Bay were controlled. The plan was to prevent the city from expanding further into Sunqian Bay. As a result, the Sunqian Bay International Wetland Center, which can be said to be the entrance to the Sunqian Bay wetland, was built next to the city center and the Sunqian Bay SkyCube was introduced as a means to control vehicles. In addition, in order to protect Sunqian Bay, which is an absolute conservation space, through cooperation between the private sector and the government and discussions with civic groups, Sunqian City moved the entrance of Sunqian Bay to a space that was a transition space and exhibition hall 5.5 kilometers away from Sunqian Bay and established the Sunqian Bay International Wetland Center. It was built. The Sunqian Bay National Garden is an eco-wall created to minimize the destruction of the Sunqian Bay wetland and prevent the expansion of urban space. In order to protect Sunqian Bay, Sunqian City's efforts to create a garden by planting flowers and trees between Sunqian Bay and the city led to the hosting of the 2013 Sunqian Bay International Garden Expo, the first in Korea. Only when this initial plan is continuously maintained will Sunqian Bay wetland be preserved and become a foundation that can be passed on to future generations.